word of God is quick and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, and we are so convinced that the entrance of his word coming to you will give light and solution to all life's issues. This message is brought to you by the Word Center Church, Nigeria. Ministry, Pastor Shegun, or last saying day. Now, give me Isaiah 28 and verse, let's start from 16. Maybe I will read up, let's start reading down. I want to explain to you on Sunday what happened to Jacob. Maybe I will explain it now. Before I begin to dive into deep revelations, I'm scared so that I want us to have understanding and God helping us. So come. Let's read this scripture together. One, two, three, go. Therefore, God said the Lord God, I lay in Zion for a foundation, a stone, a tight stone, a precious corner stone, sure foundation, and he that believeth shall not make it. Wow. First them. First them. First them. Come. Come here. Let me, guys, you stay here. Come. 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 Let me start. He says, I, I lay in Zion. I was talking also that the cornerstone is the foundation. This is where I got it from. I'm not just speaking in my head. The cornerstone is the foundation. Bible says, why is it the foundation? Because it was tried. Who is hearing me? It's not just a cornerstone because it's bigger than the lively stone. No. It's a cornerstone because the stone was tried. Okay, let me say it in simple English. Who no tried? Who no even tried? Let me say they tried it. Who knows what that means? He has gone through process of fire, temptation trials, life challenges, spiritual force challenges, everything, and he came out without any outer stain. Now, looking at the foundations of move of God on heart, all the fathers also are tried, but nobody came out without fault. Who know? Abraham was tried. He had Ishmael. He continued. The one that lived a little bit close was when that is why anytime you are reading the Bible, anyone that looks to have passed is considered to be like Jesus. Who knows it? They, when, when somebody passed on earth, the test, they now use that person to explain a type of Jesus. Moses was so powerful, but at the end of the day, anger killer. All the fathers out there and issue they can't conquer. So they could not be the foundation of the house. That is why you can't build your church on mosaic law, on, on law of Moses. You can't build the church, you can't build a spiritual life on do not lie, do not keep. How do I explain this to you? I, I don't like to struggle when I'm preaching. Because I don't want, it's like you are holding me, I want to. Sh- you can't build your spiritual life on what Moses wrote. As important as he is part of the house, not the foundation. If you base your Christian work on what Moses wrote, there's a tendency you're going to fall. Why? It's not that Moses is not a good person. You know, like God not say lie. But he said to you there is something deeper than that. It's not just a will. Moses provides a will for men to find a way. God provides a way for men to enter the will. What's the difference? Moses provides a will for men to find their way. He said, do not lie. This is the way. But how will they go there? Jesus said, don't worry. I will be the way for you. And I will now help you enter into his will. Let his will be done on earth first. I mean, in heaven, as it is done, sorry, on earth, as it is done in heaven. So he's saying, if you can't be spiritually connected, you can't be spiritually exposed. Am I making sense to you? You can't build your life on, that's why, if you build your life on what Moses said, and that's why today, some people are Moses, they don't reassure you to build spirituality. You can't say where you are, it's only, only ground is no more on the earth. It's not in the earth. Who gets me? Ah, let me add for we get to a man called Joseph. He tried that man, what the man. Bible was not telling us anything he did that we know. Have you chronicle Joseph? Chronicle Joseph in your heart now. By the time Bible introduced us to Joseph, he was born, loved by the father, truthful, sold, went to Potiphar's house, was faithful, this came with somebody else's wife, entered jail, was faithful, entered palace, was good. Who need that it seems to have been a man who lived well without Bible saying he did anything wrong. Nevertheless, to us, God portrayed a type of Christ. But to God, God saw him more. That even no matter how much he tried to show us that this guy lived right, there is still a shadow of doubt upon him that he can't be the foundation. It might be the fullness of a man who lives right, but it's not the fullness of a man who has grace that others can rest upon and draw upon. If 
Joseph was made the foundation. All we all do is to avoid fornication. And the rest of the issues, we have been an issue. Oh, you guys don't understand. Okay. Who understand? Well, I don't want to go and say, ah, I mean, now turn it to argument. No argument. This is light. It's no argument. What does that mean? All the way to John the Baptist. All of them were tried. Nobody succeed. That is why the devil came to Jesus. The Bible makes sure he says, and the prince of this world came to him and they found nothing. That statement is too weighty for us the way we are quoting it. If you know what that statement simply means, that the prince of this world came unto him and found nothing with him. At that point, he's qualified as a cornerstone. But all of us, all of us, they still find something with us. <laughs> they still find something with us sometimes. That is why he said to us, he was tried. It's not that he fell into sin. He never came out. Mm-mm. Devil came to him as a man. Look to the past. Look to the future. Look to the present. Look at Jesus' life. Jesus' dynasty, his blood, his works, his works. Everything Jesus has ever done, spoken. He could not lay hand on anything. Was never wrong for one minute. Was never ill for one minute. Was never, was, he never did evil for one minute. There was no evil in his chase. Other people are also tried, but they could not sustain. There is a fault in their life. And the cornerstone was in the fault. Other stones will crumble. The man that comes, we are to be there. When the foundation has a problem, what happened to it? You know, when David was saying, What shall we do? And when he said, What shall we do? He's not talking about the way we used to pray about it, though. So, no, that's what he's saying. He's saying that all of us have tried, even David, a man that loved God and God loved him, could not. If David has the foundation, we are in trouble today in church. When David is on the of church, David, the foundation of church. But in the year, we have 65. No, that's the truth. Sir. So, this is a flow. Abby? So, imagine you build a house and there's a problem in the foundation. If you do mistake with ordinary decking, decking can collapse. Hello, who understand? Who have seen that decking will worry? Decking will collapse. I've seen the houses that is so tall. Part of it will just collapse. The problem is not there. The problem is here. The foundation will not sustain it anymore, so it collapse. In structural repair, they taught us that if you want to repair any house, you also have to repair it from the place it fell to the foundation. So how many times will you repair Jesus? How many times? We have to go and repair Jesus. That's why they call it the repairer's anointing. He carries it. So when he was tried, they said, oh, is, is, is Zion, oh, there is a foundation. The foundation of Zion is that he became a stone. One, a dry stone. I'm explaining. And he succeeded. The devil came to him and they found nothing in him. What says again? A precious corner stone. That's the university. I think he must have written this for you. A precious corner stone. Hello? Let me know. He said it was not just. He said it's not a sure foundation. That he used like four words, four different deep things. I can begin to look at precious cornerstone. Why did he call him that? And sure foundation. But time will beat me. I want to jump. Who understand what I've said so far? Why is not the cornerstone? And why we can't build your spiritual life as a lively stone? If you want to be a Zion member, your perfect model has to be Jesus. Now, do we ignore what others have said? No. Well, they are also part of the stone. In short, can I show you true? I don't know if there are sizes in stone. But what I know is that without you, Moses is not a success. We hear me? Without you, Moses is not a success. Hebrew was saying it. He said, these are cloud of witnesses sharing us on. He said, they, they wish they complete, but they can't complete their race. They can't. Until all of us need their race. So the success of Elijah is you. Sorry. 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 Keep that or remove it. Lively stone. What is that? So if we come to the realm of the spirit, Elijah is not stronger than me. In short, Elijah is what we are being builded on. Now, we look at the works of men to judge how great they are. God looks at your position in the house. I'm not going to go deeper. I'm talking to these guys who understand. Manuel, you are a builder. Which block in the house is more important? Only the one in the foundation. Other blocks are just are the same thing. So, apart from Jesus, all of us are the same thing. And it's like, God will slap on some of us when we get there because Abraham, Tonka, and Ole, she do Abraham law. Ole, Lord, Jews, Solomon law. Oh, the enemies behave. Let me pause that one because I don't want to preach, I don't want to teach you. So when I read Elijah, 
I'm just reading a part of the block. And if you look at this old building, the only most important block, if they remove any other block, nothing happens. In short, house can stand without block. And you put pillar, 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 pillar. All of the roof, the and there are no block. They call it structural engineer. When God was structuring church, the only one he used as a pillar is called Peter. Oh, can I go now? That's why he called Peter the rock. Not the sheep, not the anointed. Not the prophet, not the pastor. He says, this which you are Let me now stop. Explain something to you. In covenant. I will come back to these issues. If you understand. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm bothered about. I want to say a lot, but I'm trying to choke myself. Speak less. Um, but bring more understanding. Now, we knew the account of a- Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. Now, let me dwell on Jacob. Now, Jacob and his brother had an issue. Why? He took the blessing of the brother. We need that account. And he left Genesis 28. He left. He left. I said, the first day he left home because the brother wanted to kill him. He got to a place. I need to go to the altar. He got to a place the first night of his journey as a man under covenant. His first night. He got to a place. He need to stay. He can't go on. Why? The night have come. And he can't move in the night because he's the one walking alone. And in those days, they are dangerous of the beast. So he need to stay in the place. Now, I don't know if you know that no matter how much we think of Jacob as a careless man, let me use that word. Jacob is the lover of the mom. Or let's say, is the love of the mom. And he will not be traveling to go to his uncle's house and the mother will let him go empty. How many of us have left home? Your mom is not rich, but he told him one point. Anybody? One me, ni mo cho, cho, mo ni. Da. A sho ni. Da. O wo ni. Da. Gari die ni. Da. Sho e jata ma mo jana e. To li tiye na wo be die jaya. Da. E jari. Sometimes, by the way, go go lo su la e. Mo di e jata na wo. Mo ti jata kato be a su. A sho e lo ba ni mo je nje. A sho e lo ba ni mo je nje. Ti ba se ba ma ba je. Ti ba se ro lu ma su je. Before we get to this, to party. That's what they are. If your parent is where then and that, they will give you one of that. So of you, when your child is going to school, may God bless you. When you are sending your own child to school, you can send that child as call it to the level of the wealth you have. I know somebody that is going to school. I will play alone. I will play alone school. I will play alone school. Yes. I will play alone school. I will play school. I will play alone 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 school. I know that person. But I will play alone school. I will not play alone school. I will the first day I was going to school, I put my phone on my head. First day in the station. I was so short that when I entered that city, they could not see me. They only saw the phone moving. So they thought I ever has entered the town. Very, they saw a man very yellow. Yet there is something on his head, just moving. Everybody was running. And I was even hungry, so I was not even paying attention to <laughs> My God. That's all I had. If it's some parent, they would have put that in the bus. And put that boy in the vehicle, and the boss will bring the load. You are involved. I mean, carry me move for you. I mean, rule four minutes. They travel in back. I think I must go. Don't you mind me? Well, important. At the phone, we be consoled. We be consoled one more. We then look. Oh, read me. That's me. Some parents would have put their child, their children in the vehicle and go and drop them. And the boy would have come down from his private vehicle and enter his hostel. I'm calling that privilege. And let me go and see. We look more to the web. And that person, they, that's what they have. And it's not that they are less. They love you. But that's what they can afford. They sent you with all their blessings. And you go. Jacob was also sent. Just because the blood. The Bible says, when they go to that place in this 28, the Bible says, he wants to sleep. He find a stone. He find a stone. And they put a stone. Now, please, want to sleep. Get this thing. Can you? Turn it. He find a stone. Who we'll use a stone for a pillow? I've always, you have always read that place. Leave him. I love his faith. You have always read that place, and in your mind, in my mind, you thought, who want to sleep? Sir? Have you ever slept before? On the rock? You'll be looking for your Bible to put on your head. Now, who we'll use a stone for a pillow? He's not talking about the physical stone. That's the cornerstone of Jacob's journey. My God. Give this one aside. So, he find a stone. A cornerstone. He put the stone there and put his head. The moment his head touched the stone, what happened, sir? Heaven opened up. The day you find the cornerstone, sir, your heaven will open. You have been running the journey without the cornerstone. See a lively stone. He became a lively stone by the covenant, by the words of his father. So when he proceeded on the journey, he find the stone. 
The father told him, I've given you my blessing, but he didn't know the God behind the blessing. So that day, as he find the God, by putting his head on the stone, heaven said, Pastor says, and God was at the top of the ladder. And then just were ascending and descending, ascending, descending. That was his own Zion. And God said to him, Jacob, your father has spoke. You didn't believe it. Now I've come. The God did not say anything different from what the father said. Who notices it? Let's go back to Isaiah. Who understand that? Icon? A sure foundation. I'm trying to explain a sure foundation. For Jacob, that was his own sure foundation. The Bible says that morning when he woke up, he didn't throw the stone away like from you did. He made the stone and put a hole. Do you know what to put a hole on the stone? When you read this thing in the Bible, you think you are reading a story. Have you? Don't see a stone. They put the hole. Don't you know what the man say? Do you understand scriptures at all? That what he's doing that day is too important. If, if the stone that he used his head to learn, he put the stone and put the oil. And only to say, today, this place shall be called Bethel. Nobody had him when he says it. And the name moved to the city. Nobody was there. So they should not call that place Bethel. But something changes. And nobody was there. Only him. But there was a man who met God at that place. He called it Bethel. So when you call your God, let, 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 me, let me slow down. See why men waste God? God has come to some of you, you have wasted it. The guy put the oil. I said, God, if you can make me come back to this Zion, I said, carry your presence. If you can bring me to this synagogue, I will praise you. So one day when he was coming back, I said, he came up with two bands. That's where I'm going. He now said to us, let me close on that six minutes. He that believeth on him shall not make sand. Stand up on the stone. May your heaven be open to you. It's gone now. This guy is gone. Leave him. Just leave him. He's not leaving. He will get what he wants to do. So, he says, he that believeth on him shall not make haste. When you read that one, do you not, not think that most times our theology as a church now is very wrong? Do you not? Like I said, the foundation, don't be confused. We are still. It has a lot of doing. Don't you? Uh, joking is far. Don't be confused. Do you think that most times what we teach in church lately needs to be revealed? God says, if you believe on him, don't make haste. Do you understand what that says? You believe on the sure foundation. Don't make haste. What does that mean? Look for me in that scripture. When it says lines upon line. Before that line upon line, go up. It should be maybe first 12 or something. Before you go to that line upon line, go up. You see a place he's talking about you are weaned from the meek. Say, and from the meek and from the mouth of the mother, you are weaned. Go up. It should be verse 11 or 9. No, go up. Okay, this is it. Go up, verse 8. You will see what I begins. Okay. For all the people are full from goodness and there is no place clear. I wish, wait, go to a place where you talk about judgment. Maybe I should start from that one. Uh, let me quickly say this before I close tonight. There is something we call the spirit of judgment. Now, that spirit, I think it has been fragmented or taken out of the earth. That, that spirit is fragmented now because in those days, we have men who judge territories and it's part of the work of the ministry. If we decide to assist him, say, Arise and shine. Then this one says, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. First, another me, at the end, he said, For it shall be judgment. So, one of the works of the anointing, the Spirit of God, is for you to be able to judge issues and judge places and judge territories. But lately, we have lost ability to judge. We don't judge anymore. It's not judgment in discerning, it's judgment in enforcing action plan. And that is what we lost a man like Idaosa. Who has capacity to judge an issue without leaving a place? Say, President, if you don't do it, this and it stands. They can tell a president of one nation, let gospel be spoken on national TV. If not, you die. He died. Now, we go call him a murderer. No. He was exercising the spirit of judgment. Hello? But God says, if you want to be a carrier of this spirit of judgment, what makes us lost that spirit of judgment in verses, and those men are powerful enough, they are strength to turn the battle at the gate. That's what you have missed as a church. Hello? You can How many of us can even judge what goes on in the house? Can I pray for you? Will you be a part of those who make spiritual decisions around you? Yeah. You don't understand that thing. When they are making spiritual decisions around your territory, may you be part of them that make it. Yeah. We don't call that meeting. People enforce it. As you pray, you enforce a particular thing. Nobody in this house die young. You are, you are not praying for them. You are even praying for yourself. But that becomes a valid thing. Paul says, as long as you are with me, God says, those who stay with me will not die. One man, securing all men. But we have lost this spirit in church today. And it's not in church, in the body of Christ, say, oh, it's not there over the world. People can do anything and go scot free. Why? Because nobody carried a man through of the spirit of judgment anymore. May God send it back to the earth. 
When somebody has said, because you have done this against the Lord and against church, so shall it be unto you. And second day, it happens. Everybody will keep quiet. Everybody will be quiet. But today, we are fine men. God has, I don't know what did, but I can show you what we did. God says, why will he take it away if you go for that? He says, because these men are now living in unrighteousness. The table is no more clean. I, I wish you can go down. Go down a little. You will see why he says, they have had. The flesh has taken over. So you can't carry judgment and flesh at the same time because it will, you will be destroying a lot of people. For personal sake. Personal drive sake. You can't carry that spirit and carry spirit of flesh. When somebody offends you and you can't, you can't just have a light heart to forgive. You are destroying everything around you. That's not judgment. That's wickedness. Judgment is to fight evil, to turn the battle at the gate. That's how we miss it. The whole church came into a place where our flesh is more important to our spirit. And God took that spirit off the heart. And today we are suffering for it. Nobody can, anybody can try anything with church and go scoff free. Anybody can do anything, sir, with today's church and go scoff free. They can abuse, insult, they can put eyes on our father and put their hands in their eyes. And nothing will happen. And anybody that speaks it will still be living. Aya. Anybody can rise and say, Jesus is a mess. And he will now begin to sight and put his hands. And the old God of heaven will be watching. He says, see, are these the sons I raised? The sons that turned the enemy at the gate. Is that what he says? So they shall be. He says, blessed is the man whose quiver is full of them. For they shall stand with the enemy at the gate. That's the spirit of judgment. We don't have it. We don't have it. I don't have it. I don't have it. What we have now is just to move. The spirit of judgment makes you judge. Is you tell the truth? What God told me? He says, sir, do you know why? The spirit of judgment is the capacity to declare obituary for the spirit. Capacity to declare obituary for the spirit. You can kill a spirit. Yeah, that's spirit of judgment. You tell every spirit, one man enter one city in Scotland, nobody could drink there. Nobody could drink alcohol. It's, it's a city known for alcohol. Nobody could. He destroyed that spirit. He, see, today, sir, there is no shop selling alcohol in that city. He has died in 1940-something. What a man to but he has left the heart. Any, today you can see a church and a brother living side by side. Today is his church. You now see a shower house. You see a share. And no fire force. And everybody is coming to, and they are serving God. And they will come to church and do their service. And we all go back. And nothing happens. The spirit has left. In those days, you can't try it. When they are praying, fire will be burning. A year of Uma who one day was going to a crusade. The woman is still alive. And, and Abali said to him, I will destroy you. He said, and we only sing this song. Oh, mama, eh, mama, eh, oh, mama. So when I'm singing that song, you better start running. You better say, son, I will destroy you. You just enter the order. And just say, oh, mama, eh, oh, mama, oh, mama, oh, mama. Eh. I, don't, I don't know the song. Yeah. And while they were singing that song, fire burst out in the shine of that God. And they said they call firemen for 12 days. Nobody go off that fire. You didn't know where it came from. They are pouring water. It didn't go down. They are pouring everything. They were like, what else just born for 12 days until all the gods are consumed? These are spirit of judgment. We don't have it anymore. May God return it back. So that when you are speaking, no witch be stuck. All this nonsense that goes in your neighborhood. They are killing people in your house. You are there. They are shouting. They should be slapping us. All of us. All of us. All of us. That somebody will speak. A man of God say, For what you said against God and his word. What did David fight for? It's not for God. Say you defy the armies today. They are defying the church, isn't it? How can defy why she in any right sense? Anybody can do anything, defy us, defy us, speak, defy us, defy us. And today, now say Christian becoming a keyboard warrior, they are not insulting back. They can't defy us. You don't understand gospel. The gospel is not what we understand, it's what we show. You will understand it, they will see it. We don't have it. We don't have it. God took it away. God took it away. God took that spirit away. And I'm begging him by today's service. Because we are all here. May God get to return it back to us gradually. And may we have enough life of holiness. I heard of a man of God in old Lagos who was coming. One day in day, all the Lord pray. I'm going to pray. You cheat. One day I'm born. One day I'm born. One day I'm born. I will. I will. I will. I will. Am I a queen? Am I a new boy? Am I a long? Kim, my long. One of my real one. Am I a queen? Okay. Tell already. My son, I kill a demi. And right there, right there, the land open. Look and swallow the chief. Others run. I would enter a womb. 
No noise. No noise. It's called the spirit of judgment. But today, the I go, I go, ah, I'm a job. When I was in school, sir, one she or two, you couldn't job. They said, we don't come out. We are doing nine videos. Shadam bako baratia. I'm a body one. I'm a job. 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 I'm we are all Christians. If God should see this quality of Christian in today's world, we should all be ashamed. All of us. Christian to the people who are ashamed. What are we talking about before? Let's pass. Look at. Let me show you. you know. Let's move. Because we are stumbling in judgment. We are stumbling. That's the joy. This is a clear picture. We have heard in vision. We are stumbling in judgment. No more shall we turn any man back at the gate. Even today, people does not care about the gates. Baba, we think I can. Baba, I defy gates with them. Can you me here? Let me go and show gates with them. Say again, it does not happen. Why the the world is defining the church? You see, Christian, say me too. I'm thinking so. I'm thinking like that too. I've been thinking it. And these are the lively stones that God was building spiritual house with you. That you cannot even show. You can't even defend the integrity of God on that. Now, when, when the word is defiling the church, you are also thinking, are they not right? The church is too much. When I read, when I read something, I just laugh. Craziness everywhere. No more judgment. Ah, yeah. The also was the same one man who chased witches away. Conference of witches out of Nigeria. One man. And they told him they're having conference of witches. They write letter to almost 8,000 witches around the world to have a meeting in Benin. The man said, if you have the meeting, then God did not come. And they bring him and the head of the witches to a meeting live on television. And the man was boasting, Are we witches will kill you? He said, No problem. And the man talked and talked and talked. And the man said, The man said, Even your God cannot stop us. That's said, You are right. You don't need God, know that. You, why will God stop? God is too busy in heaven. I'm enough. You need God out. You don't need God in this issue. Me and you, I will stop you. And the man finished his story. That's what he said, That's what he said, It's not enough. Bible says, suffer not a witch. I don't want to ask him a question. Are you a witch? Because if you say yes, you will die live on TV now. Not let her die now. Are you a witch? The man can go ahead. Are you a witch? The man can go ahead. Are you? The man said, no. <laughs> ah, yeah. The man said, no, I'm not a witch. He said, then you must receive Jesus Christ. The man said, I will receive. Live on TV. <laughs> that was the end of witchcraft meeting in Nigeria. One man. Today, there are witches in Nigeria, all of us, all Christians. We can't stop. You. Go ahead and find out. It says line upon line. Let me close. I see some of these people that are suffering. This is why he said, let me, let me say, should I even handle this? We handle it on Thursday. Yes, this one will take time. We handle it. This is how stones are made. This is why majority are failing in the Christendom. That is why majority are dying so early before they become a living star in the body of Christ. That is why spirits are dying today. Only flesh remains. But I will undo this one. We require a lot of time. Because I will not want to jump on it and leave. So we undo this one in some other time. But what I'm trying to say is God is not in a hurry. When you are in a hurry, you can't gain God. Men that became mighty are men that are patient with God. God is not in a hurry. Men are the one at least. You are too much in the hurry, sir. You are too much in the hurry. You are too much in the hurry. When it comes to the things of God, in God, forming you, sir, is a process. Most times, I tell people, Jesus did ministry not because he wants to win souls. Because the souls he wants will make everyone until they are baptized with the Holy Ghost. Open up. You know. And in time of Jesus, there are few people in Christendom that is in Christ. But Jesus was doing ministry for the apostles' sake. He can become Jesus. No, so he was Jesus from day one. He can die and still be saved at day two. If he, if he dies as a baby on the cross, he will still save us. But why he did ministry is to show us a pattern and to raise men. And to raise men took him three and a half years. And yet he told them you don't know anything. You need the Holy Ghost. The way we are now in our generation, most of us, when we see big ministry, they said, 
There is no big ministry that is doing something good today. Check it. They can't be less than 25 years. If you are going to do well with God's eyes, it will take time. God will not give you your destiny very early. When I God show you, it's a process of time. God will never show you something great and give it to you. When, sir, if God should give you everything you need, now you will die. You can't manage it. If some of you today should see 50 billion. That's your, that's your way out of that. You will waste your life. What do you five million? How do you have the capacity to manage it? So most of us are in a hurry. When we, and I see a lot of, I don't know where they get it from. God show me and they are, write down the vision is a process of time. You don't write it all in a day. Make it plain another time. Then you read what you hear, what you write another time. Before you begin to what? Run. But today, you see hearers and runners. They just see a thing today, tomorrow they are running. I say, who is pursuing you? It's about to rain. Ah. It's I got it down. Cloudy. Eja Loli. Eletolo. Eh, questions? Sorry, please. Any questions? I'm going home too. Eh, pull it down. That's all. Yeah, why so? Any questions? Can we close this door? You understand? You don't have to give me some idea of them. I have to give you the interpretation of it. Understand of it. Most of us are in there too much. You came to Jesus 14 years ago. Oh, Jesus. You see a lot of drama in church. Say, Daddy, I'm not sure that God is God. <laughs> Sir, is God a liar? What God showed me is not doing it. They should slap their forefathers in heaven. Your son is foolish. <laughs> Jesus waited for 30 years. 30, sir. 30 years. That's why, notice every church at 30 years. That's the beginning. Every church between 1 and 30 is planted. The real church starts after 30 years. I won't say more. What I'm doing now is just really, really get the energy. But God is thinking, me, close that door now. And please, close the window. What I'm doing now is what is called a ministry. I share it, but God is speaking me. I want to my Lord, I want to my Lord, I want to I want to my Lord, 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 uh, you see, if you see somebody that is encouraging you to run beyond your destiny, please tell that person to run. Be going. Because God is not in the haste. Let's take a question. I mean, let's, let's, um, let's leave it. Because, um, I don't want you to... But, you know, it's, it always pains me when I see Christians and they are just playing, being drama. And thank you for the question, sir. I actually, after Sunday, I went to study about Zion. So, there's a place I studied that said, when the Lord shall build up Zion, he shall appear in his glory. In glory, yeah. So, when you're explaining that Jesus Christ is the foundation and we are the material that he's using. Now, I want to ask, what's the glory of Zion? That, that is... <laughs> the question. What's the glory of Zion? Yes, sir. That is number one. Sir. Okay. Number two. In the case of um, Anna. Really? In the case of Anna. And she got somewhere at an encounter. You said Zion is a place of encounter. <laughs> it's a place of meeting. It's a place of encounter. Yeah, they're wrong. When we were wrong. Encounter at a limit here. At a bracket. Meeting. The meeting open up. So you let share encounter at a bracket here. You go. You need to encounter. But if you know what Meeting was a meeting. A place of meeting with God. So you let share here encounter. So encounter at a bracket. The Bible is not from the Bible. They are trying to give you an enclosure. You can't go beyond that. If you are saying. Okay, sir. So I want to ask, can we also say Shiloh is Zion? Huh? Shiloh. Is Zion? Yes, sir. <laughs> Sit down. You are a tempter. You are a tempter. You start that teaching. I am not teaching again. <laughs> that is sir. Okay. Now, now uh, the third question. Can we say, um, um, making use of our, domin- our dominion our dominion, putting our dominion into action, are we called it Zion? No. And I will encourage you to be in the service all through, so you can have the full understanding of Zion. Zion is not dominion. Zion is God. But well, let me answer you. If I, if I think that First one, he said, the glory of Zion is when you become like Christ. Full stature of Christ. First thing, until you have the full stature of Christ. That's the glory. The glory of Zion is not money. It's not children. 
It's not marriage. It's not houses. It's not good job. That's why we are all making mistakes. I drive why it's always about Ishe, Robo, Mara, Obama Mara, Ashati Robo, Ramoto, Modal Friend. I call Cathedral. That's not the glory of the church. The glory of Zion is when all of us have the full stature of Christ. That when they see us and they see Christ, they say they have, they call them Christian at Antioch because they look like Christ. That's the glory of Zion. Not all this uh, car. When you see a pastor, what do you say? What do you mean? Ah! Only one shit, you know. But I don't call me. Call you. I don't be. No, really. It's nonsense. Your glory is not in those things. Most times, the strongest of us is not the most lousy of us. The second question, so that we can tidy it up. Second question is. The, the, uh, on Sunday, you said, Zion is the indwelling of God in a man. Yes. Now, I can go to a shrine, but because I have God in me. When you say dominion, you have limited. Dominion is not all to God. What is obey? You call it dominion. Dominion is part of showing God. The way dominion is also, there is a place we call discipline. It's also part of God. So you can't say one part is God and the other part is God. So all the parts, the indwelling of God in a man is called Zion. Zion lives in you. Then we now bring Zion, Zion, Zion to form a Zion. That's what I said. If you are in a shrine, cannot go by shrine. We are not judging. Shrine, I separate you from alone. I don't think I'm alone. I separate you. How about that? I'm alone that belong to God. If you take us to a shrine, those are the ones that belong to God. If you separate from those who don't belong to God, why? The shrine will test your faith, test your strength. They don't hold that belong to God. If they can hold their hands, come together and we start fellowship. Say, let's do a piece of worship. And I sing it to God. God will come. It doesn't matter what it is in the shrine. It will come. And that becomes a what? A shadow. If you are worshiping God, Anna, Jonah pray in the belly of the fish. God came. God came. The belly of the fish. God came. So God can hear a man from the belly of the fish. God came. Thank you, sir. Thank you for this teaching. The last verse of the Bible verse. I, that we read Isaiah 28 verse which says God is not in an hurry and he said uh, if you want to uh, get God you won't be in an hurry in the place of ministry what about the place of uh, you know you said in all place of life it's not just ministry sorry that's what I do that's what I can just talk about but in all place of life you can't get sir do you know who, do you know companies are called what's the name of the company come again which is a new company, PNG. How old is PNG? Before you can see a company that is so strong, see how this company is only Nigeria that's a company will die. I don't know how we do it. No, really. And church is trying to build a system that's fighting church. Church will transfer to next generation. Why not? You see, all the Western wars, their company are almost 600 years, 700 years, six, three generations have handled that company. It didn't die. It's growing. Nike is one person's company. Mercedes Benz, they are generation. All these are multi generational companies. And church is doing it, they are still us. Dracula is as old as maybe 400 years. And a lot of people have undo it and transfer it, didn't die. I guess, what's the question? Yeah? What did you say that make us say that? You know, it is. So even if, if we see anything working on the earth that is not even God, it takes time. UCH is the biggest hospital. How do you see it? Do you know why UCH is so reputable? Length of experience. Consultant is not because you are the best brilliant head. Consultant because you have learned how to do it. You have tried this thing. Abi, what makes you a consultant? Is it just like the best brilliant head? No. But I became consultant in each, each set. I know the best of that set. But I know that as more consistent, they are practicing for a long time. No matter how brilliant you are, you can't become a person in one day. It takes a time. So, whatever you are doing, like, if you are in an age, you won't get the best of it. Including marriage. You will enjoy your marriage until you are maybe 20, 20 years in marriage. That's when the real joy starts. See all this struggle that all of us are having is normal. That is why if you see somebody who divorced at ten years, but my spirit will come, go, 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 ready for it. But well, before you can begin to, and today she stay with you. Part of the enjoyment is that she stay to stay with you. But me, I'm making a okay, salon. They are two. They are called law. Ask our parents. But when you want to enjoy the beauty of marriage, not five, all these five, ten years, and she do them. And then you guys are reaching your two decade. May God give you length of days and good health. You begin to enjoy. And to know, to know my complaint, my comment on comment me. You will have learned how to live with that person. That all those things are bother you, will not bother you anymore. You just be having a good time. You should, things you complain about before, but that become things you are joking about now. But hello, me, OT. 
you want a marriage, the husband should buy him a car. Everything is just set. That's why you can't marry a man. You can't marry a man. And the man is everything you want. He says, come. You have to put yourself into that man. Before you can become everything, you have to build that man up. A man is everything you want. All of a sudden. Somebody must have built him. And is he, built, he didn't tell all that person for you. And uh, you see, you that person built that person according to our own taste. So the way, the way mama is building me now is to be the master of all. That's where she's building me. Like if she's not, and I can do everything myself. That's how she's building me. That means I'm building you easy. Only the share, my name is Oshemi. Oshemi. I'm not going to be some. I'm not going to be some. That's the way it is. But she's building. Now, if I go to somebody else, and somebody else coming to my life, will you enjoy it? Because that she didn't build me for that person. Let me go there. Let me go there. Let me go there. Let me go there. That's the way life is. And that's why I said, you, you can't even anything natural as that. You can't enjoy it. Whatever you enjoy so early, we not stay long with you. Clothes, check it. If you enjoy a cloth, I'm going to be fit. A car, that's it. Anything that is so early. Sir, I want to ask that. You know, I like for me, that patient is a virtue. That if you want to stay in that place of growth, Apart from prayer, not like some someone like me. Okay, okay, I do have. You don't have patience. No, I have. So it's not ministry like that. Too, like you don't have ministry. Like growing with God, like growing with God. Let me put it that way. That if you want to get in getting God, and you are still praying for God for consistency. Apart from prayer, what can one do? You see, thank you. To, to grow with God is not even prayer. That's, that's the mistake all of us make. To grow with God is to sit down with his word and to now pray from his word into your life. It's not just praying. It's, it's like, what will you pray about? God has not spoken to you. That's why I don't like men who can we just pray without word. They are not, not going to grow. Growth is sitting down, let God break you. That take the instrument of that and enforce it on your life. That's how you grow. However, God can speak to you once and did not come back again for the next 10 years. Oh, they say, ah. <laughs> God might tell you one thing and if you step out. Seven years, he has not come back. When, when they are showing you parable in the New Testament, that like a vine dresser, he has a garden, he plant a tree, the tree did not bring out anything. I grow ah. Until the next one comes. Because God will try you by his instructions. He will try you by instructions. He spoke to you. He will now wait for you to see what you are going to do about it. If you don't do anything, that's the trouble. Okay? You have been reading a scripture that when God returns the captivity of Zion, they will be like those that do. Is anything lost in Zion? A lot. Spirit of judgment, don't let go. A lot is lost. The church has lost a lot. This is not the church I met when I came to the world. The church I met in those days. What about they took my mother took me to a crusade camp. They used stone. The mark is in my head. Crusade in oil. In the den of the center of the Islamic power. They want to do it. They used stone to cut. Everybody, here is the stone hit my head. My head was bleeding as a baby. My mother still go back there immediately to go preach. That's the gospel I met. The mark is in my head today. If I ask us, if I ask a friend now to take any kind of picture, because why look at her? Oh, but she might not see her in trouble for the next five days. I say, Daddy, that's 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 what I meant. Okay, all right. Okay, thank you, Jesus. Your no question. How can um, the captivity have been returned if the like that spirit of judgment you are talking about? Ah, I love all on you. <laughs> you talk quickly. I don't know. I love Bani. I'm a man there. Until they find us worthy. You see? Jesus was saying something that was very important. He said, There's a lot I want to say to you, but I can't tell you that. You can't receive it now. There's a lot that God can do with man, but man are not ready to receive. That's our problem. There's a lot God can do with us. God can turn you to a spirit or not. But you are not ready for that. The problem is not always with God, it's with men. So there's a lot I want to say to you, but you can't take it now. 
That's always the definition of our problem. What we can accept, what we can't take, what we are not ready for. To carry the middle of judgment. Somebody was praying, a snake crawled over him, and the snake dried. He was not praying, he didn't even know. Today, we see snake, you'll be praying. You take off. Say, hey, Edo. One day I was in a place. We are praying you and a cockroach fly. And I said, Jesus, Jesus, I say. I said, Madam, I was in Lagos. I said, Madam, cockroach. Jesus is a cockroach. So let him say it's a bot. Let him say it's a spirit. Bible says in Philippians chapter 2, he said, Be afraid for nothing. We say, Talking. Of salvation unto you, you know, or partition to you, and of salvation unto you, and that of God. The day fear came, defeat came. And you want to face principality, you are afraid of uh, cockroach. You want to face principality. When they now appear to you, what will you do? Principalities are ugly. You see them with head, like Vasas, so logo. And you see that, we now, what will you now do? And you see cockroach. You see? So people will, 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 will be using oil in their room. The whole house has been deformed. I thought your room to oil production room. You see, I your house is full of oil. Different kind of oil. One day I was, I was somebody I saw him. Person was sick. He was with mommy was also doing the child back. I saw, like I'm not exaggerating. Body is not Up to seven different bottles of oil and different bottles of water. Omi dande, omi shego, omi bedide, omi wosa, omi yami, omi. Omi, <laughs> You know one prayer we're going to pray tonight? Just one prayer. Lord, I know it's, it's not easy. But the hours of trying, don't let me jump out. When you are trying me as a stone, don't let me leave the place. When you are trying to take me through the process, don't let me cut the process off. When you are trying to build me, don't let me turn out. It's easier for you to leave the place where God is building you. It's easy. You felt it's too hard. It's not easy. Ah, God, help me. Help me. Help me. Help me. Help me. Help me, Lord. When you are building men, help me. Oh, Jesus, help me. We hope you were blessed by that powerful message. You can follow us on all our social media handles at the World Center Nigeria. The, the World Center. Center. A people, people fat and flourishing. flourishing. Stay blessed.